Hello everyone, this is a seminar video that is based on the subject Material and Nanoscience on the topic Nanotechnology Application in Medicines Advantages and their Disadvantages due to Suitable Examples My name is Benson Thomas, 3rd BSE Physics, 17 BPH 0006 Let's move to the introduction part Nanotechnology in medicine offers some exciting possibilities some techniques are only imagined, while others at various stages are tested and being used today. Nanotechnology in medicine involves application in nanoparticles currently under development, as well as longer range research that involves the use of manufactured nanorobots to make repairs at cell level. Here, nanorobots is nothing but nanoparticles or nanomaterials, that is a medical word that used in nanomedicine. Whatever you call it, the use of nanotechnology in the field of medicine could revolutionize the way we detect and threat damage to the human body and disease in the future. And many techniques only imagined a few years ago are making remarkable process towards being realized. Next is applications of nanotechnology in medical field. First of all, nanotechnology is a revolutionary technology that is being used in many fields. It also has application in magnetic field and electrical field. The biological and medical research community of the world is following on how they can make drugs more cheaper and more efficient. And they also reduce the side effects of the drugs. They, they, they can treat diseases like cancer more efficient way. They can develop new tools and devices which can reduce pain and bleeding which is common during surgical operations. There are three main applications of nanotechnology in medical field. First one is targeted drug delivery. Second one is tissue engineering. And third one is nano sensors. Now we have to understand it deeply. First one is targeted drug delivery. Carbon nanotubes, that means CNT, that is very, very thin cylindrical tubes having diameter in nanometer and it can penetrate cell membrane. Using CNT small drug doses can be injected directly into the effective cells. Delivering drug doses in small amount not only treat the disease in more effective way but also prevent human body from side effects which are generally seen in the case of large, large uh, what we can say large drug doses. Large drug doses can harm healthy cells along with the effective cells. For example, during the chemotherapy, healthy cells are also affected. Next is tissue engineering. Nanoparticles can be used to replace damaged tissue. Nanorobots can help in welding of artery lining of heart, which reduce the chance of heart attack. Nanotechnology can handle the problem of aging also, which is the result of internal malfunction in molecule machinery. When nanotechnology is used in the treatment of kidney, then that field is called nanonephrology. I think you should remember that. Nanotechnology can change the way of bone implantation. Normal bo bone in in uh, implantation can cause swelling in future and the pain will also increase. Nanomaterials, we can make bone implantations which are more lighter, stronger than conventional bone implants. Next, the third one is nanosensors, which is a chip. It contains thousands of CNDs, that means carbon nanotubes, that detects disease at early stages. Arthroscopes, a device that contains nano cameras and nano lights that helps surgeons to carry out their surgery more fastly, and also it includes it inclusions free surgery with reduced pain and bleeding. DNA mapping can be also done through these nano sensors. These are some examples of drugs that is developed by nanotechnology. Abraxine, a drug to treat breast cancer, lung cancer and etc. Doxyl, a drug to treat ovarian cancer. The next is gold nanoparticles which can be used to image cervical cancer cells. Next is the classification of nanomaterials. Zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension and three dimension. These are the four types of nanomaterials. Zero dimension. 
these are the materials having the dimension within the nanoscale no dimensions are larger than 100 nanometer next one is one dimension these are the materials having one dimension is outside the nano nanoscale one dimension are larger than two dimension these are the materials having two dimension are outside the nanoscale in this two dimension are larger than 100 nanometer then the final one is three dimension three these are the materials that are not confined of the nanoscale in any dimension that is all these dimensions are less than larger than that means that uh, all these three dimensions are larger than 100 nanometers here we can see the examples of nanomaterials the first one shows that zero dimension that is fluorence that is first found in 1985 the second one that we can see that it is one dimension that is a carbon nanotube cnt it is founded in 1991 the third uh, third one is 2d two dimension that is a graphite it is founded in 2004 the last one is three dimension that is known as graphite Nine, 1890s i think graphite is firstly founded three dimension the next one is advantages of nanotechnology in medical field first one is small size of nanomedical device in by this device we can reduce the pain and the bleeding in the time of operation or surgery next one is early detection of disease by it is using dna mapping that means its sensor is uh, you help help us to detect the disease earlier in the body so it is a best advantages of advantages, advantages in medical field third one is repair tissues within the body that by the process engineering tissue tissue engineering that is the process we call it the fourth one is drug delivery by nano system which means that it in a targeted region the drugs will be uh, delivered in the body by the nano system so these are the advantages of nanotechnology in magnet ma medical field next is disadvantages of nanotechnology in medical field first one is health effect uh, sometimes uh, the nano materials inside the body will grow naturally grow so uh, that causes some health effect in the human body uh, so it is a disadvantages next is expensive some uh, nano materials medicine is very expensive for patients so it is also a disadvantages in the medical field the third one is security and privacy which means uh, some people will using is maliciously uh, that means it, they will use it for uh, what we can say in the wrong manner so the security and privacy will uh, illegal uh, illegally they are using the uh, drugs these drugs for um, uh, what harmful ways in harmful ways so the security and privacy is also a disadvantage in this the last one is conclusion as research into nanomedicine continues we can expect to see a focus on common diseases such as breast and pancreatic cancers as well as heart disease and central nervous system disorders such as parkinson's disease however we can also expect to see more research into the development of nanotechnological device to be used within the magnetic field nanowires are one such device but also of interest of scientists at a moment is nano needles which have so far proved successfully in generating new blood vessels in mice while there are still a lots of unknown what we do know is that nanotechnology is taking over with demands of job in the field due to rise rapidly in the next few years thank you for your